This is part 3 of Uniswap B3 fee growth initialized. In this video, we will calculate FK minus F0, and this will give us the fee growth inside a position. And in this case, we will look at when the tick I lower is not initialized and tick I upper is initialized. Since tick I upper is initialized, we will label this as FU. So FU will have the value of F out of I upper at time T0. Okay, let's calculate fk minus f0 when the current tick i of c is less than tick i lower. Imagine the case where at time t0 we have phi growth fg0 over here below tick i lower. At time t1, the phi growth crosses over lower tick, and at time t2, it is in between the two ticks i lower and i upper. And we want to calculate the phi growth that is inside il and iu. To do this, we'll need to calculate fk and we will need to calculate F0. So let's start with F0. What is F0 equal to? Well, here's the equation that we will need to use to calculate F0. And we're going to be using this equation since at time t0, the current tick is over here, below tick i lower. This is equal to F out of i lower. We said that it is not initialized. And since the current tick i of c is less than tick i lower, this will be equal to 0. Okay, how about f out of i upper? Well, we said that f out of i upper is initialized to fu, so this will be equal to fu. Now, notice here that when we evaluate 0 minus fu, which is a positive number, f0 will turn out to be a negative number. So what we can see from here is that phi growth inside does not really make sense by itself. To actually get the phi growth inside a position, this is why we will need to subtract fk minus f0. So, with that in mind, let's calculate F2. At time t2, the current tick will be inside the two ticks, so the equation that we will need to use is this one. This is equal to Fg2. At time t1, the phi growth crosses over tick i lower, so F out of i lower will be now be equal to Fg1. And F out of i upper will still be equal to Fu. Okay, so now that we know F2 and F0, we can calculate F2 minus F0 to calculate the phi growth inside this position. This is what F2 is equal to. And since F0 is equal to minus Fu, minus minus Fu will be equal to plus Fu. We can see that the minus Fu cancels out with the plus Fu, and we get that this is equal to Fg2 minus Fg1. And again, we can verify by looking at this diagram that the phi growth inside this position should be equal to fg2 minus fg1. Okay, next consider the case where the current tick i of c is in between tick i lower and tick i upper. And again, we'll assume that tick i lower is not initialized and tick i upper is initialized and has the value fu. So again, we're going to calculate fk minus f0 to calculate the phi growth inside this position. Okay, so let's start with f0. Since at time t0, the current tick will be in between the two ticks, this is the equation that we'll be using. The first part is equal to fg0. How about f out of i lower? Well, since current tick i of c is greater than tick i lower, when we initialize this position, we initialize f out of i lower to be equal to fg0. So f out of i lower at time t0 will be equal to fg0. How about f out of i upper? Well, we said that it was already initialized to Fu, so this will be equal to Fu. Okay, let's move on to F2. At time t2, the current tick I of C will be above tick I upper. This is the equation that we will need to use. Now notice that at time t1, the phi growth crossed above tick I upper. So at this point, we update F out of I upper to be equal to Fg1 minus Fu. So when we evaluate F out of I upper at time t2, this will have the value fg1 minus fu. Okay, and f out of i lower. At time t0, we initialize this to fg0. So this will be equal to fg0. How about f2 minus f0? This is f2. And from this, we'll need to subtract f0. You can see here that f0 is fg0 minus fg0 minus fu. So if we minus f0, this will turn into a positive fu. We can see that the two FUs cancels out and we're left with FG1 minus FG0. And again, looking at the picture, it looks like the phi growth inside this position is FG1 minus FG0. 
Okay, for the last part of this video, let's calculate fk minus f0 when the current tick ifc is greater than tick i upper. So imagine the case where at time t0 we have phi growth fg0 above tick i upper, and we initialize this position between il and iu. Now using the initialization rule for phi growth, since tick i lower is not initialized, and the current tick ifc is greater than tick i lower, we initialize f out of i lower, to be fg0. At time t1, we'll say that the phi growth crossed below tick i upper, and at time t2, it is in between the two ticks, and again, we'll evaluate the phi growth inside this position. At time t0, let's calculate f0. At time t0, the current tick will both be above tick i lower and tick i upper. So this is the equation that we'll need to use to calculate f0. f out of i upper will be equal to fu. It was initialized as fu. f out of i lower, we'll use the initialization rule for phi growth, and this is set to fg0. Okay, let's calculate f2. At time t2, the current tick will be in between tick i lower and tick i upper, and this is the equation that we'll need to use. The first part is equal to fg2. How about f out of i lower? Well, f out of i lower has not changed, so it, it is still equal to fg0. Okay, how about f out of i upper? Notice that at time t1, the phi growth crossed below tick i upper. So, f out of i upper will be updated to be fg1 minus the previous f out of i upper, which will be fu. So this will be equal to minus fg1 minus the previous f out of i upper, fu. Okay, now that we have f0 and f2, we can calculate f2 minus f0 to get the phi growth inside this position. Here's the first part, f2. And here's the second part, f2. This is a long equation, but you'll notice that fu cancels out with this fu, and this fg0 cancels out with this fg0. And we're simply left with fg2 minus fg1. And again, we can check, looking at the diagram, that the phi growth inside is fg2 minus fg1. In summary, in this video, we calculated fk minus f0. This will give us the phi growth inside the position, tick i lower and tick i upper, when the tick i lower is not initialized and tick i upper is initialized. In the next video, we'll again calculate phi growth inside, and we'll consider the case when tick i lower is initialized and tick i upper is also initialized.